it's your boy Swap95 back with another video and in today's video we're gonna be talking about my five things that I can't stand about the city of Philadelphia now don't get it twisted I love where I'm from I love my city I love my roots I never forget that however there are some things that I cannot stand about this city whatsoever all right so let's jump into it all right so my number five has to start with road closures all right so as you know the city of Philadelphia is a metropolitan but it's a small metropolitan, if you will. Like, as soon as you come in the city of Philadelphia, it's as fast as you're leaving. The most common ways to get around the city is you leave the 76, the Parkway, or Broad Street, right? And they rarely ever close down Broad Street, but they do, however, close down the Parkway. So the most common way to get from, you know, Uptown, as we call it from where I'm from, Uptown, we get from Uptown, down to Center City, or the Anywhere else you gotta go throughout the city, you usually take the expressway or you're taking the parkway, all right? And when they close the freaking parkway for motherfuckers who wanna ride their damn pedal bikes in the street, I said street, yes, street, not street, street. When they wanna ride their pedal bikes in the street and jog in the street, it annoys the living shit out of me. I hate when they close the parkway, because when they close the parkway, now I am stuck. To either go through West Philly or I gotta go on the freaking expressway and sit in bumper to bumper traffic. And if you don't have the best of all cars, like the jalopies I've had in my life, that tend to overheat, it can cause it can cause a problem for you. And it did for me a lot. There is nothing worse than when you are coming off of Lincoln Drive and you're like, bet I'm gonna come off Lincoln Drive, boom, go up that little hill, then I'm gonna hit the Falls Bridge. Boom, make that left, and I'm coasting on the parkway. I'm good. I can get half. I can cut through all that traffic on 76. And when you get across the Falls Bridge, and you get to that one little spot, and you see them little orange gates close, that shit will make you kill a small animal. Like, that's how angry sometimes it can just be like, oh, I got to turn right. I got to go through West Philly. Then I got to go back around, and then I got to climb the damn hill or some old other shit. And it's just a bad scenario. The city of Philadelphia needs to learn. Stop closing the main roads. I don't give a shit how much power you got in this city. But the part they also f you up is what they got the boat races. Who gives a f about a boat racing in? It's not even motorboats. It is rowing they boats. Old traditions rowing they boats. And sorry, I mean, maybe I'm losing translation, but like, why you gotta close all of the freaking parkway? The, the, the goodness, like the, the, the heart of the parkway where you can just pick up speed and just coast because of somebody in the freaking water for boats i have been in the city of philadelphia and i'd say at least 10 years i've seen them block the freaking roads for the funky ass boat races ah like the city of philadelphia when they do road closures this sh pisses me off to like oh it's like why are you closing your key like this is how we get around the city stupid number four Bikers slash pedestrians. I said slash because theoretically they're kind of in the same damn boat. And I don't mean bikers like motorcycles, like, you know, MC, if you will. I don't mean that. I mean on physical pedal bikes with two feet pushing these up and down on the ground. That's what I mean by pedal bikers. I can't stand bikers in the city of Philadelphia, especially when I was doing Uber and Lyft. When you are riding your pedal bike in the street, you are supposed to be obeying and following the rules of the street. That's what it is, period. So when it is a stop sign, your punk should be stopping. Don't just roll through the road and it happens the most in Center City. You don't see this in Uptown, up in the Northeast, or any other area, or West Philly, well, Maybe a little bit closer to the college, like Drexel or Penn State, but or University of Penn, I'm sorry, not Penn State, University of Penn. You will see bikers in those areas. However, theoretically, this is predominantly center city, South Philly kind of area. When you see these motherfuckers on their pedal bikes, when I tell you they don't even stop, like it could be a red light, it could be a green, it could be whatever they wanted to be, and they just roll through them joints and will look at you like you have seven heads as they going through traffic on their pedal bike. And if you don't dare to beep at them because they'll try to give you the finger and say, hey, I'm riding here. Mother, do you know I can run you over with my car, get you and your bike, back up, make sure I got both of y'all, and keep pursuing about my day because you'll never catch me. It's just a simple courtesy. Why in all are you riding your pedal bike in the street and not obeying the rules? 
and then get upset when we come off all extra hard and run into you and shit. I've seen two pedal bikers, the funniest shit in my life. Seen two pedal bikers both run traffic lights and ran into each other. That shit was hilarious. Pedestrians, I'm on your ass too. When it comes to crossing the street, get the across the street. Like, I don't understand as they walk ever so so, just to mosey. Like, the goal when you are crossing the street is to get across as fast as you possibly can without getting your ass hit. So if I am riding this way and I'm in turning left and you are crossing the street, yeah, you got the right away because your light came on first. But get the out of my way. Like, what the f And I'd be wrong to run you over. But you were in the street moseying and it's like... This don't happen in Uptown, North Philly area. It really don't happen too much in other areas. It's only Center City or South Philly. Because they feel as though whoever they are, no race attached to it. But when they cross the street, they feel as though they have the right of way. The pedestrian is always right. Boosh! I have the right to run your ass over, back up, make sure I got you, and then dial 911 and roll the f*** away. Like... Cross the street at a timely fashion. Get your ass up out the street. And if I hit you, it's probably because you were walking too goddamn slow. That is not encouraging violence. That is, yeah, definitely encouraging violence. Number three, the potholes in the city of Philadelphia will wreck your car. When I mean wreck your car, I mean some potholes will have you actually take flight in your seat. And I am not bullshit. The potholes in the city of Philadelphia are one caused by septa buses two sh work that they do they patch these things and throw the little whatever you want to call it in the hole and you don't have the time to settle it is not properly done or they just patch it up like a band-aid and keep it pushing and five to six months later the road is up again the city of philadelphia has some of the worst potholes that i've ever seen in my life i should not be taking flight when i hit a pothole i should not have to lock my car up before i go over a pothole or if i see a pothole i should not be playing dodgeball or look like i am on a serpentine test going around the streets of philadelphia that is bad like what the freak i forbid it is raining and there are potholes aware oh that make you clench your ass cheeks for real Number two, the structure of roads and highways in the city of Philadelphia are the most dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life, all right? Where do you know where they have an expressway that is two lanes, okay, that goes through metropolitan area, it goes through rural area and other types of areas that I can't think of right now, in the suburban and all that other boat, it goes through all different types of areas and it is two lanes for almost 22 miles. 22 miles of two-lane traffic from Center City all the way up to like King of Prussia. This is not a lie. Let there be the smallest thing on 76, especially when you get past City Avenue heading towards Klein Let there be someone pulled over on the side of the road, just picking their damn nose on the side of the road. Let that happen. Everybody in their mama got to stop and look at this mother on the side of the road, no matter what it is. And that shit will cause traffic for miles. The amount of traffic that builds up from 676 or Vine Street Expressway, if you will, that takes you to 76 heading towards Roosevelt Boulevard, that little interchange that takes you from, what, three lanes on 676? I think it's four at a time. I don't freaking know. It takes you from three lanes down to one to get on the 76. That is the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. Who thought of this? Like, who mans is this? Number one, my last thing is gonna be real touchy and y'all ain't gonna like it, but I don't give a shit. You're on my channel. So hey, you gonna rip me a new one in the comments, but let's get into it. The Rocky statue is the dumbest statue I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I said it, what's happening? They should put the Rocky statue inside the art museum. That would attract more people to go inside the art museum. Half of the people who go to the art museum ain't never been in that month. They should put it inside the art museum. I get it. He ran the steps. Adrian! I get all of that shit. But he is a fictional character. There is no real Rocky. Yeah, he ran from South Philly to the freaking steps. So the f what? He probably was piped up on crack or something. Like, that's a long run, bro. And like, you want an accomplishment for running up the stairs? Like, if I run the stairs in my house, you don't see me talking about, yeah, I did it. 
the art museum steps, it ain't even that many steps. They just really long. They are really long, wide steps. Like I get it, the movie could be iconic to some, but there it was the 80s. And the boy ain't even from Philly. It was a movie that was shot here. Everybody wants to run and take pictures of the Rocky statue. For what? He ah, I don't know, man. This is me. I, that's that's just my personal opinion. I think the Rocky statue should be inside the art museum. If you're going to make one. I don't know. Call me what you want. Call me a bigot against the Rocky statue. <laughs> I know the next thing y'all probably going to say, but what if there was a Creed statue? Would you say the same about Creed because he's black? I'd probably honestly be real with you. No, I wouldn't be happy for a Creed statue. It's fake boxer. Nigga, these are not real. Like, Joe Frazier, real. Um, Some other white people who are from here are boxers are great. I don't know their names. I'm not into boxing. All I know is Joe Frazier from Philadelphia. All in all, that'll conclude today's video. Those are my top five things I either can't stand or don't understand about the city of Philadelphia. I love my city. I love where I come from. But, but there are some things I just be like, I don't understand it. Either way, don't forget to like, share, leave a comment below. Hit that bell icon. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll leave the link for the hat below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Later. Oh, blooper reel. I am hurts from this damn wallet. Ah, sitting here too damn long. Woo! My ass. The wallet. Theoretically, hypothetically, ah! Fucked it up. <laughs> It'll make you clench your ass cheeks. How bad these pounds. <laughs> I'm really fucking this up. Alright. God forbid it is raining and there are potholes a while. Of... <laughs> I had it too. I had it. I had it. I had it. Alright, alright. Off the freaking. Uh... Fuck it up. <laughs>